I'm going to show you uh, something I'm calling Speed Reader. Um, it's a different way of reading, and it'll probably mess with your head if you've never seen this approach to reading before. It's a totally new way of reading and ingesting material. Uh, so you can get the project on Drupal.org. It's slash Speed Reader, and you can read up about it there, a screenshot of what it does. Um, Nate Millen's demo site, something else you can go to here uh, to see quickly what it does. So basically you get this, it's a block, throw it on your page, you click play, and it scans everything through here. Um, now what you can do is you can amp this up. A lot of people supposedly are able to read up to like a thousand words per minute. I, I find that hard to believe. I can handle about 550. Um, but then you basically just stare at the, uh, the crosshairs and the red character. And um, if you can up it above what your internal reading voice is, uh, you'll be able to just kind of ingest the material. Um, it's an alternate way of reading. It's usually good with pairing with traditional reading so you can get kind of a gist of it or scan over it multiple times um, very quickly. Um, what this is based off of is I found a this thing called, it's, it's a Codepenio, if you will, if you've never seen Codepen, it's awesome, um, which I then forked. Um, but the idea is not original. It's from something um, called Spritz, which is seeking to do this on like iPhone apps and things. Um, so basically it's a, a watered down version of that just to get the job done. Um, you can see the, the fork of it here. It's on GitHub. Um, the library is forked from MIT-based code, so in case you're wondering why it's completely abstracted from the Drupal module integration. Um, and it's got a lot of stuff gutted out of the original code pen. Um, but to see what this looks like in any given site, you see I have a body of content here. Um, what you do is you go to configure, and I believe it's under system or... User, interf user interface, there we go, user interface, and then speed reader. So you have to get that library. There's a there's a, a example.make file to help try and bridge um, bridge development, if you will, and getting this up there. So there's only one setting. You pick what the, um, the jQuery selector to read off of is. Um, and so I, it defaults to .node. That should catch most things, and then if you just place a block on the page, we'll go to uh, blocks in this case, and I've got uh, a speed reader right there. It's a block above main content. You'll see I've told it to just show up on anything that's a node. Uh, so then when the page loads, it's gonna read off of whatever's here, and then that's what you're gonna get in this little block here. And so then you can amp up the words per minute if you want, and then it clicks play and it activates it, and you can read through. So this is an option we're looking at, still trying to work on the way of um, putting this into Elm's learning network in a way, and the MOOC distribution uh, in a way that's not so obtrusive. We don't want to force people to have to read this way, but it's, um, it's a pretty cool tech demo option at the very least.